What's up, Time Keepers? Me, Time Gamer here, going to be trying out Maze. Super Freddy, I'm ready. Time to roll the intro. Alright guys, so today I'm going to be trying out Maze. Now this is a game that's been out for a couple of years now, but it's a game that I've had in my library and never had a chance to play it because of my old PC or my laptop that I had. It didn't work properly, so I decided to finally give it a try. It seems super funny and it's sort of a horror funny type-ish going on there, so uh, it's an adventure game so and puzzle game, so I don't know if there's actually fighting or anything like that, but anyway, it doesn't matter. A game doesn't, have, it doesn't need any fighting. For it to be good so without further ado let's just jump right in so let's go what the name of christ is going on all right i guess the game's starting like that oh okay uh, that's weird all right uh, i guess that's where we're going Already meeting some of the maze in a maze feel. Could be any of them. Could be you! Or you! Definitely you! Alright, let's keep going. I don't know why I'm scared, but this is not like a... I don't think it's a horror game. <laughs> Alright, a silo. Stuff. All right. A giant weird thing. <laughs> oh. When the pointing a hand icon appears, click the left mouse button to interact. Open door panel. A slot for a hand. A slot for a key. A circular slot. All right. I guess. Oh, the house is over there. Thank you, good, good equipment, farming equipment, sir. Let's keep going. Press E to enter pause menu. All right, I'm good. Pretty sure that's standard for every, every game. Oh, a maze, maze. <laughs> uh, I cracked myself up. Yep, maze, maze. I knew it. Q does absolutely nothing. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for telling me. It'd be funny to actually did something, though. I think I went the wrong way. Oh, a desk. Okay, yeah. Office. To pick up items with the grab icon. Hmm, English muffin. Items you can use will be added to your inventory store. Item will be added to your uh, to your folio. Item added to your folio. Fantastic. What can I do with this English muffin, though? What is my folio, though? Inventory is I? No. Nope. I don't know. Press E to examine equipped item. Hard as granted, this muffin is most definitely not nowhere near fit for consumption. Despite how much you try, all of you done, all you've done is given yourself a headache. Okie dokie. Okay, the mill. There's a mill over there, and I can't go. These are empty boxes. Why can I knock not knock them down? I don't get it. There's a house here. Press spacebar to look at story item in folio. A note. Liz lazily scribble. Include a stock greeting. and encourages the reader to enjoy the complimentary snack on the desk. Note to the reader to mind the boxes and also say open the big door. And we'll probably say hello. Okay. There's a lot of stuff going on. I'm pretty sure this thing is goes in that circle part. When you see a place icon, you can use item. Left click. Lock door. Okay. I like the eerie 90s, 80s music. Ooh. Uh, can't, oh. 
Oh, it's locked from the inside. Of course it is. God damn it. Alright. To the barn we go! Damn it, boxes. Damn it. I guess this circular item... Oh, there's a creepy statue right there. Did I see that before? Oh, no, I wasn't. I went. I didn't come here before. Broken shovel handle. To the mill. Completely useless for shoveling dirt, but helpful if you want to tip something over. You immediately think of the word of the second floor of the farmhouse because you didn't particularly look like how it looked at you and would like to ruin it today. Okay. Oh, there's a path here I didn't go to. Oh, finally, something that opened. Cluck, cluck. Oh, there's the farmhouse key. Cluck, cluck, chickens. Cluck, cluck. What's over here? No matter how many times you press Q, it still does nothing. Now, you want me... I, I, I feel like spamming the, that key now. A rusty nail jammed in a wall. Okay, that doesn't do anything. Mediocre rock. What, why did I pick up the rock and can't see it anymore? Alright, let's go to the farmhouse. What happens if I press Q? Okay, it still doesn't do anything. I have to make sure maybe they're fooling me. They're trying to they're trying to trying to trick me into thinking that it does nothing. Fuck that little there was an owl in that window that scared me a bit. Yay! Okay, I can't see anything. An invoice for a car carved wood statue. An invoice for a commission wooden statue costs in the hundreds of thousands. Item in the list chopping down a large old oak tree. Carved statue out of oak tree. And hospital bills for injured sustained chopped down oak tree. Okay. <laughs> oh, there, there's... Um, the mediocre rock. Okay, there it is. This is a rock you found near an outhouse. You don't know why you have it. It's absolutely mediocre in every way possible. Its name is Chunsi. Okay. I don't see much. At least the idea. The, a really boring mystery novel. Having no talent in the genre, the author mistakenly revealed the murderer's identity at the first page and spent the rest of the novel outlining a story about detective buying a pair of pants. Alright. <laughs> That's a horrible book you got there, my friend. Oh, a... coffee... a grinder of some kind? A sausage grinder. Something is jammed inside. Okay. A fruit crate. Why the fuck would I pick up a fruitcake for? An old sink. Alright. Rancid corn oil. Okay. Pure rancid oil. It smells worse than imagined. Okay. Open. Okay. Nail clipper. You do nothing.
Ah, rations for days. Oh, there's a little panel. C, of course. C and C again, not to crouch. You can do this forever. Okay, cool. You unlock a secret door, making it much less secret. Okay. That, that got better. Jesus Christ. Okay. A fuse box, missing fuse. Alright, now I have to find fuses. Wow, this is a horrible place we got here. Wait, there's a sec... Oh, that's to the outside. Open cellar door! Yay! Quick access cellar door. There is a second story, so let's go find out what's in the second story. Oh, okay. Plate fruit crate. Okay, what does that do? All right, I, I I'm doing stuff that I don't understand what I'm doing. What was that thing for? Well, yes, if you may think of the wardrobe in the second floor in the farmhouse, because. Okay. You tip the wear over with broken shovel. Okay. Oh, because there's a fucking second store in there. Okay. There's a, yeah, a, yeah, second store. No, third store. I, I like the fact that it gives me, like, oh, this is exactly what you need to do right now. Don't worry about it. A bobby pin. Ooh, I'm lockpicking something. Uh, will this lockpick undo whatever's jammed in the sausage grinder thingamabobber? Nope. Uh, let's go see what's on the third story. Nope. Ooh, the attic. Ooh, I love attics because they're creepy as hell. A mallet? An item, it seems like the item that goes into, uh, in, in, that's in the grinder right now. Wow. So many things going on here. What's that? A burnt lab report. Much of it can't be read, but the words abject failure appear several times, so does Hurt feeling and sent them in corn stalks. And why did we do this? <laughs> All right, I got a mallet now. There's a trunk. Can I open it? No. All right. I've deceived. I've been de deceived once more. Let's go see if this helps the food grinder thingamabobber. Okay, what can I use the mallet for? What can I find here? Oh wait, there was a snail here. Sorry, I, f I picked up a couple more things since... Well, the Okay. Alright. Why didn't I f remember that damn nail for earlier? Is this going to be the, the fucking grinder thing going on? Maybe the nail will work in the fuse. I don't know. How does that make sense? Okay, just for that. Alright, that, that, that's weird. Is there a radio trying to turn on or something? Oh. A CD player. TCP secret. 
New pad has opened to you. To the barn and silo. What? Why does removing a CD give me fucking... To the barn and silo, okay. Oh, they weren't kidding. Look at that. I know, that's what I've been doing from the start. If, you, if you're stuck, remember to press E to examine your equipped item. An old CD, the label faded, pressed on the first batch of CDs ever created. This brand was notoriously expensive and even more unreliable, making the, even the greatest of, of symphonies sound like something con, concuss elephant would make while stumbling around. Okay. Okay, let's do the first floor first. Okay, nothing of importance right now here. Oh. A book titled Corn of the World. A book outlining the differences and similarities of corn species across the globe. Several chapters also discuss the color yellow. A few species are circled in red pen while no 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 appears in many places across the entire book in blue pen all right is there corn discrimination going on here is that what we're dealing with this is an entire story about corn racism is that it a broom i got a broom don't know what it's for but i got weights too good can i swat at something with this broom Oh, half, one half of a diagram. A diagram torn in half uh, contains very complicated looking equations scrib scribbled in orange pen. A drawing of a person and a DNA helix. Looks very important. You tried to eat it at first, but changed your mind when you couldn't find any salt. What? Okay, right, let's go around the barn, see if there's anything... Uh, there's a silo it can go to. And there's a path to... Please a road so I can just get out of here. You think my tractor sex say... Well, I can't go there anyway. And you're chained to a propane tank. Okay. I think I've seen enough. Can I climb up that silo? No, I can't. Alright. Electricity. Can I go there? Probably not. Oh. Stop pressing Q. I'm literally not pressing Q. Oh. Oh. Glove... Glove severed hand. Okay. A very fashionable fedora. Uh, okay, I so saw I picked up uh, a very fashionable fedora worn by a very fashionable person. Due to this, uh, you are not putting it on your head as you have not earned a right. On the inner tag, the owner writes his name. Fernando. Uh, charred name tag. It took you several hours of staring, but you managed to deduce that the name tag in fact belongs to the dead person it, wa it was near. Uh, and that his name is Fernando. It, look it took you several more hours to know that the dead person was a lab assistant. It took five more minutes to realize you were trying to read this thing upside down the whole time. <laughs> Alright. Oh, that's an actual dead person. Okay, that's that's weird. More boxes. God damn it. Alright, so, I think the CD and the hand will go in that thing over there, in that door. Let's go to the silo. Here comes the bobby pin. Unlock padlock with bobby pin. You damn skippy. 
open. Oh, a schematic. A weathered, tattered blueprint. Through it's hard to make out, this blueprint looks like it's for construction of very large, very poorly planned facility, with a farm situated on top of it. The facility itself actually sets an architectural record to having the largest number of corridors that leads absolutely nowhere. What is it saying? Why did we build all this? Makes sense. Forgot to read the description of stuff I had. A severed hand, perfectly preserved in a glove and that encases it. It could come in handy if you could give yourself a hand and, f and find a way to loosen, get the, glo the glove off. The first pun was intended, but not at the second. Okay. There's a pile of something or other you can sweep up with this, but you already know that. What you didn't know was that the broom is haunted. This will not affect your adventure in any way, as the ghost is currently away on business. <laughs> All right. Okay, so I read this already. I didn't read the mallet. Smash something perfectly flat with this trusty tool. But remember, you can never unflatten things with this. It is the mallet's greatest weakness. Alright, do I need the broom for this then? Yay! Pliers! You saw something in the sausage grinder that could be removed with these pliers. You know that's because you spent an uncomfortable amount of time trying to pull it out with your hands, making no progress whatsoever. Okay. Manufactured about a century ago, this telescope perfectly ranged the top of low hanging trees, possibly because its lenses were put on backwards. Looks like it was used fairly with varying results. Okay. Why am I carrying all of this? Why is there a carpet in a silo with a seat? Nope. All right, let's go plier to pliers on the sausage grinder. So much weird stuff going on here. I'll be going for the sausage grinder as we come. Pulling out that thing in right there. Pretty sure I could have pulled that out with my hand. Pulled warp key fob out of sausage grinder. Not an ideal place for it. Oh, it makes sense. Uh, this warped key fob would be useful if it could be flattened back to its original shape. At first, you tried to do this by staring very hard at it. It didn't work, so you set out to find a tool that will do the job that matters. And I do have that mallet. Now, I think I have to go put it over there. Stop, stop doing that. I tried to press jump with spacebar, but then... Spacebar doesn't do anything. It does that bring up folio. What are you doing? Stop stop glitching on the side here. You go here, and then I take the mallet. Key fob is attached good and flat. This key fob has been smashed so perfectly flat that you can't help but toss it like a frisbee to see how far it would go. You'll get your position immediately. Please don't. Don't do that. Let's go back to that door. I think the hand and the CD and the and this might be useful for the, that door. Maybe. Yay! Yay! Oh, I need to remove the glove. A severed hand, perfectly preserved in the glove that encases it. It would come in handy if you could give, you could give yourself a hand and fit way to loosen the loosen and get the glove off. The first pun was intended. 
Do I have? Pretty sure this goes in here, but I don't. Oh, uh, the 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 sink, the sink thing. Here. Yay! All right, slightly disgusting. We got it. That's a weird. Oh, uh, you guys can't see it for some reason. That's weird. Okay, sorry about that. Uh, I don't think I don't think it ruined the game too much, but now you can see what I'm carrying. I didn't. You know, I never noticed that. So sorry about that. Time to put the hand in. Alright, opening the door. Oh, there was some cool music. Oh. Hey! 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 Oh, shit. You must answer a riddle before you're allowed to enter. <coughs> A doctor and his son are in a car accident. No, not that one. Say the one about the guy who hung himself with an ice block. You just gave that one away. Answer this one. What animal walks on four legs in the morning? That one's boring. I'm Riddle President today. I get to pick. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, oh, yeah, 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 that's true. Was he oh, president right, every man. time? No, I did. <laughs> been a vote unclear on the election. Oh, we should be yes, with that. <clears throat> An empty bus pulls up to a stop and ten people get on. At the next stop, five people get off, and twice as many people get on as at the first stop. At the third stop, twenty-five get off. So, which one of us is named Jim? Am I Jim? I thought he was Jim. No, that's Bill. Where's Bill? You're Bill. Oh, that's right. You may as well enter as we sort this all out. <laughs> Let's hope you're better than the last one. Oh, that's not good. Oh, boy. Oh, and watch out for our brother down there. He's a bit odd. He's a bit odd. You're... what? Bob, I told you to fix the elevator weeks ago. It takes hours for everyone to get in here because of your stupid experiment. Moron, quarterly Ted. Hiya, Ted. Don't worry about it. We'll reset the other after a few more months of data. We have overbrought food pellet and we uh, would have to get rid of this somehow, Bob. You press the button. Oh, radio? Oh. It's still food pellet. Okay. I need some elevator music in here. Oh, okay. Why do I need to eat food pellets to be down here? Oh, okay, now it starts. Oh, okay. A facility brochure. A flashy brochure that appears to be part of the pro process tour of the facility, which includes what Bob thought a modern child looked like. Uh, most of the brochure is redacted except for the the walking sentient corn on the front. Alright. Oh, more, more post-its. Uh, let's start with the... Sorry. Uh, let's start with the top one. My god, Bob, what is this? Did you actually have the gall to commission a bronze statue of yourself? It'll cost us a fortune, you narcissistic idiot. You narcissistic dolt. Cordially, Ted. Hey, Ted, don't worry, I got the, a good deal on it. Commission D statue in bulk. I uh, think they really sprug up the facility, especially for the tour. Could be a big money maker for us, Bob. Bob, you are so, so very stupid. What about the term classified? Don't you understand? 
He can't host tours, moron. Quarterly Ted. And don't think I don't notice you put a near the one near the farmhouse. Repeat. Classified. Put it away, idiot. Quarterly Ted. All right. I think I'm going to leave the first part right here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that uh, small little video. Uh, what does this say? Bob P. McTavish, Ph.D., M.A., B.S.C., D.O.P., Esquire, Founder. Okay, that's a weird thing beside it. That's Ted. Co-Founder, okay. <laughs> Alright. What does this say? Bob P. McTavish, Honorary la Lobby. Okay. He's just tagging everything for himself there. So yeah, that's going to be it for the first part of uh, Maze. If you guys enjoyed, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. We really appreciate it. This is a funny little game. I'm definitely going to keep playing more of this game. I want to uh, keep going through the adventure. The first part was really weird. I had a problem with some of the, with some of the puzzles. And sorry if the the, the beginning of the, the video, the, the screen was a bit weird. But hopefully it was still enjoyable. And you can leave a comment below if you played this game before. What you thought of the first chapter. I guess this is the first chapter. Or not, I'm, I'm not sure if I'm done the first chapter yet. Anyway, uh, so you can go follow me everywhere, me, Time Gamer, Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, Instagram, and over on YouTube.com for right here on YouTube.com for slash me, Time Gamer, where I post a new video every day, week, Monday to Friday, 3 p.m. Eastern Time. So thank you so much, guys, for watching, and we'll see you next video. Keep on, keep it on. Mm -hmm.